So hey guys, fishing down the creek again. Um, today, while I'm waiting for some bites, I'm going to show you a couple of uh, spinner retrieves. Uh, these you can use pretty much anywhere, from in, um, impoundments to creeks, for any any bass, yellow belly, anything really that would attack these, especially straight fresh water natives. So yeah, I'll just run you through a couple of retrieves on how to do them and where to use them. Cheers. Cast one of these things. Bait cast reel. Okay, I've got a spinner bait on that. Only a very light one, but I'm going to show you a few tips that can uh, stop you getting backlashes and how to cast it. Okay. So, what you want to do is, this is how I cast. Turn the reel side on. I'm over back over my head as it comes forward to about one o'clock, maybe almost two. Let it go. Key to a good cast is a nice smooth action, and then come straight through. And wherever your rod ends up, straight. That's where your that's where your uh, your lure or your bait should go. Now the the way to stop backlashes and backlash is when you don't put your thumb on the spool, hits hits the water, and that happens. The little loose line there. Okay, the way to stop that is to have your thumb on the spool at all times during casting. As you cast, put a bit more pressure on. So I'll just wind up the line here. Once you get that down pat, you want to try and get as close to the snag as far as possible. So it's just over, like that. Just have your thumb on the spool at all times, stopping it, and that's how you should stop getting backlashes when you, with your bait caster, and help hopefully get nice accurate casting. Cheers. Alright guys. First of all, I'm going to show you the slow roll technique. This is uh, what you mostly do anywhere around Timber or anything like that. Nice long cast. So sink down. Let your line to go limp when it's on the bottom. Pull up, feel his legs lessen, and then just go into a nice slow roll. Especially when you're coming near snag, try to get as close as you can to it before you nice and make it nice and slow. Now, what you want to do is you want to cast that when you get the tree trees in. You want to get as close to the timber or the weed beds, whatever, as you can. That's where the fish are going to be hanging. Now, especially because these are reaction baits. You want, to, you want to keep getting them, keep annoying them, keep putting them in their face because eventually they will hit it. So, uh, next one I'll show you. It's called burning kill. You can also use it near the timber, but it's also very important to fish, especially out the there. Once again, nice long cast. Wait till, wait till it gets to the bottom, or wait till it's down near the fish. Then what you want to do is get, get the uh, blade running, so flick it up. That 10 quick, quick reel, and then click it, and let it drop back down to the bottom. Do it again. And then, for that, if you feel race up in a million miles an hour, come up out of the school, drop down, and bang, you often get a hit, hit on the drop. So you've got to be ready for it, and uh, have your thumb on the floor so you don't get too much over it. So, once again, long cast. Wait till it gets to the bottom. Click it into gear. One, two, three. Do about 10 or so, quick rise, let it drop back down to the bottom. Also important is you want to get these things down as close, close to the bottom as you can, also near the timber. So when you're retrieving, when you're retrieving them, especially if you're on a boat or on a ledge here like I am, you just want to click it and just have the rod facing down so it's just roll along the bottom and near any structure where the fish is going to hang. Cheers.